At about the same time, the first vaccines against COVID-19 were being approved in 2020, United Kingdom announced the discovery of a new strain of the virus. A few days later, the discovery of another variant of the coronavirus was announced in South Africa, which at the time was recording more than 15,000 cases of COVID-19 infections daily, the highest number in Africa. All three variants detected in the UK, South Africa and Brazil have undergone changes to their spike protein. This is part of the virus that attaches to human cells and makes it better at infecting cells and spreading. In South Africa, a discovered variant named E484K is thought to help the virus evade parts of the immune system and antibodies. Another variant in the same country, named B1351, has since become South Africa's dominant coronavirus strain. In Kenya, scientists at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, have also warned of a new distinct variant of the coronavirus. Yet skepticism still runs in African countries. For Kenyans, they remain adamant in taking the vaccines upon arrival. I'm going to take it if it is going to be made mandatory. Uh, if it is optional, I will not go for it. If we tested and proven that, yes, it is going to work for Kenyans and it is made mandatory, I'm going to take it. But if it is going to be optional, I won't go for it. We have to consider before we take this chancho. The kwanza ni cost. Tunajuliza itakuwa free ama serikali itatupa ita ita taka tulipe ki. Mimi kwangu sikubali. Double ingie ewanzia kwa wakubwa ndiye kuja kwa wadogo. Tukiona wakubwa wakichanjiwa wadogo tutakubali. It is however too soon to say with certainty how adversely it affects the body and there is no evidence that it actually causes death. According to the World Health Organization, these variants of concern which are on the rise in 47 countries in Africa may impact a person's immune response and need to be investigated further. The new variant raises questions. Is the coronavirus more contagious now? Will the vaccine still work? Are there new or different things you should now do to keep yourself safe? Harriet Chimia reporting for Switch TV.